Lesson 3 The Terrain Editor Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. On this video we will show how to use Unity 3D Tree Creator. Join us and learn how you can create your own trees for your games. Step 5 Installing the package The Unity Tree Creator is in a different package than the terrain assets. In order to use it, you must first add it to your project. Go to the main menu, Assets, Import Package. Select Tree Creator. This will import the Tree Creator to your project. Step 6 The Branch Properties The first thing you need to do is to create a tree. Go to Create under the hierarchy tab and select tree this will create a tree in your scene now with the tree selected if you take a look at the inspector tab you will notice that the tree game object has several components and properties it contains a total of three components a tree component a mesh component and a mesh renderer component we will focus our attention on the tree component on the top, you can see the tree structure. You can also see the number of vertices, triangles and materials your tree has. Right now you only have the root of the tree and one branch on the editor. The number on the top right corner of the branch tells you the number of branches it has. For now, double click on the branch in order to select it. The buttons under the structure view let you add leaves, branches, copy, or delete. Below you can also find tree buttons for branch addition, move branch, rotate branch, and free hand. We will take a closer look at those once we start building the tree. On the distribution section, you can adjust the count and placement of branches. The group seed property is the value used for the procedural generation of branches. The frequency allows you to define the number of branches created for each parent branch. Distribution can be random, alternate, opposite, or whirled. This parameter lets you define how the branches are distributed along their parent. On growth scale you define the scale of nodes along the parent node. The curve is used to adjust and the slider to fade the effect in and out. The growth angle defines the initial angle of growth relative to the parent. Here too you can use the curve to adjust and the slider to fade the effect in and out. The next section is geometry. Here you define what type of geometry is generated for this branch group and which materials are applied. The LOD multiplier sets the quality of this group relative to tree's LOD quality. The geometry mode can either be branch only, branch and fronds, or fronds only. Change this value to branch and fronds. The next three parameters allow you to set the materials for branches, breaks and fronds. The next section is shape. Here you can adjust the shape and growth of the branches. The first parameter, length, lets you adjust the length of the branches. If relative length is on, the radius of a branch is affected by its length. On radius, you adjust the radius of the branches, you can use the curve to fine-tune the radius along the length of the branches. The cap smoothing defines the roundness of the tip of the branches. This is very useful for cacti. The seek sun allows you to use curve to adjust how the branches are bent upwards and downwards. The slider is used to change the scale. 
The next three parameters are related to noise. The first one sets the overall noise factor, while the following two do it for the U and V. The flare options allow you to define a flare for the trunk. You can change the radius, the height and the noise of the flare. Finally, you have the brake parameters. Here you can control how the branches break. You can define the probability of breaks and their location relative to the branch length. The next section is fronds, and is only available if you selected fronds, or branch and fronds on the geometry mode. Here you can define the number of fronds per branch by using frond count, their width and range, the rotation and the frond crease. On the wind section you can set the parameters used for animating this group of branches. Step 7. Creating branches. Now that we cover the branches properties, let's create the branches of our tree. First off, set the geometry to branch only again. With the main branch selected, Click on the Add Branch Group button. This will create a new branch. As you can see on the structure of the tree, a new branch was added. Click on the Move Branch button and move it to the position you desire. Click on the Rotate button to give the rotation you want to the branch. Finally, with the free hand tool, you can draw the path you want the branch to follow. Create several branches until you have a good branch structure for your tree. This concludes our first video on the tree creator, on the next video we will cover the creation of leaves and their properties. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.